Yeah, I haven't been finished yet for the uh, composite, alright, the matrix composite, uh, where we talk about the matrices, or where we talk about the McDonald's can play, alright, MCP, ma metal, ceramic, and uh, polymer, okay. So, because I actually put it this all this matrix into the dispersed phase, so I thought that why dispersed phase have that and then think about it, I think it's still related to the matrix. But in this case, let's let's continue for the matrix first, and later on we'll explain why why do they put it there. Um, over here in this uh in this uh video, we'll talk about uh, why do we choose MMC, why do we choose CMC, and why do we choose PMC? Okay, so if we choose metal, it's because we want it to have a good tensile strength and to creep resist. All right, is to prevent deformations. All right, the creep is the permanent deformations of a solid material. Okay, so the MMC, the metal, is to prevent deformations, alright, and you talk about the increase of the yield stress, alright, if you remember in mechanics, the yield strength is, determines, alright, the, the, whether the, the material will deform or not, if you, if you exert a force higher than the yield strength, alright, or yield stress of the material, then it will deform, okay, for example, this is the elastic region, alright, after the yield stress, which is over here, Alright, then you will go into def deformations, alright, permanent deformations, and then over here is the ultimate fracture point, right? So therefore, these are the things that you may want to understand. And for MMC, its purpose is to de prevent deformations, alright, having a good tensile strength to prevent creep, alright. And for CMC, your ceramic is to increase your toughness or sorry, your critical value, alright, for stress intensity. Or I believe this is the toughness also toughness value where which the material can withstand beyond which crack propagate occurs so after the crack propagates whether it can it tahan until it breaks all right so where after the cracks will, will, will it actually um, take it after it breaks so how how much crack can it take in order for it to actually cannot be used which goes back to what we have done in the previous video we talked about uh, if you have a full solid metal, alright, if there is a crack over here, the crack line will increase, alright. If you have a composite that is laying up, this is the matrix, alright, these are the resins, this is the matrix, alright, this is another layer of resins, this is the matrix. So if you have a crack that propagates along this matrix, alright, it will break some of the resins over here, but it will never touch on this part, alright. It is pretty hard for it to touch on the next layer of the composite. So the this means that its toughness value or toughness KIC, all right, is rather high compared to this material, which cracks means crack already, and you crack all the way and then die. All right, for this composite, it's much better in terms of its critical value KIC, or or the fractional, I mean the fracture fracture value of critical values. Okay, so therefore. The K is for fracture toughness, whether it can contain a crack to resist fracture. Okay, so this is just the, the meaning of, of the, the thing. So if you want a ceramic one, then you use your, your um, if you want a good toughness, then you use ceramic. If you want to prevent deformations, then you use uh, metal. If you want to use polymer, this means that you're going to talk about creep resistance also. Alright, and that uh, it can improve your young modelers, improve your U strength improve your tensile strength and creep resistance so for the polymer matrix composite is rather somewhat one of the best uh, option compared to uh, metal and ceramic however uh, as you know the plastic is is not very temperature um, tolerance so therefore for matrix composite often they use the uh, the what we call the ceramic one all right well however if you want to have a higher temperature you can also use uh, protection layer, fire protection layer to for your plastic, for your plastic material, okay, and and yellow. Yeah, so the dispersed phase, as I keep on saying, is for the uh, reinforcing agents or your fibers, okay. So this is the composites, all right. The type of composite you are using can be metal, can be polymer, can be uh, can be sorry, can be CM ceramic or CMC, okay, and then uh, so. Over here, this is your composite that you want to choose. All right. Next is that your fibers. What you want to choose your particle, fiber, or structure. All right. So in the next video, we'll talk about the type of uh, reinforcement that you want to uh, adopt.
or take on. Okay, see you there.